You know what I want to do a video, guys? On I want to do 60 hertz versus 240 hertz warming up. Can I play with 60 hertz for a minute right now while we wait for Stu? All right. All right. So right now I'm going to try 60 hertz versus 144 hertz. And I think I don't have it in my launch option, so let's just change it here. Change resolution. Can't even. <laughs> Does my monitor not go that low? Can I even lower it to 60? Why you go for 60 FPS? No, 60 hertz, not FPS. I'm not talking about frames, guys. I'm talking about hertz. Two different things. Well, this feels like trash. Okay. Okay, so it already feels worse. I can literally feel 60 hertz on my desktop. Okay, so I don't have anything else in. So I'm going to play a 60 hertz right now for deathmatch for a second. Let's go find a server. And then I'm going to go to, I guess we'll do 144 hertz after. So maybe in another video, another moment, because I'm going to do this for a whole match make. But so this is 60 hertz. So already, like I could tell that I could aim. Like if it's like this much movement, it's not so bad. But the big whips are so bad. So, I'm not gonna look. Yeah, just like, it even feels laggier. Like, look at my FPS, is still high too, and it still feels this shit. Oh, I just burst fired that guy. Like, it just blatantly feels. It's not about FPS, guys. My chat right now, because I'm gonna upload this to YouTube. So, YouTube, my, my Twitch chat has to be to lower my FPS. Let's see. I'll do it. I don't think this. This, I guess this makes it a little bit more excelly, but it's almost the same as 60 hertz. It just feels more snappy. It's not the same. Watch. It feels a little less, it feels a little less shitty, but it's still pretty Dominating. shitty. Yeah, it feels a little bit more excelly with 60 hertz for sure. I, or 60 FPS. So I'll give you that. It does feel different, but it's the, the visuals of 60 FPS is so shit. Or 60 hertz. And so a lot of people might play on these settings and it's fine, but you're going to see how different it is when I switch. I'm throwing my arm, so it might look like it's decent. I'm also a professional Counter-Strike player for over a decade, so I'm like decent at adjusting. Dominating. But the difference to at least 120 hertz even to 144 is so insane. So we'll go 144 after this. Should I go? Do you guys think it's better to do pistol or rifle right now? Should I go get an AK? Is it kind of lagging for us all? Is it because I'm watching my phone? Now I'm playing on 60 hertz and 60 FPS. So when I'm on this FPS, does it look like it normally looks like when I stream right now? Because my FPS is higher? Can you see? You can't see the refresh rate, obviously, because that's on my monitor. But is this, does it just look like I have like worse mouse control when I do this? I'm assuming this looks a little bit better than when I have 60 FPS. That's my head, right? It looks scuffed still. Yeah, isn't that crazy? So the refresh rate literally is not is also seen by you guys. So now I'm going down to 60 hertz. That's insane. I wonder, is it because it's monitor capture? Let me check my screen capture to make sure. Okay, so let me turn off monitor capture and make sure I'm just on game capture. I could be saying something completely stupid from a technical sense right now. I'm going to have someone in my YouTube comments be like, Jordan, I design monitors for a living and you're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a producer for a stream. Does that look any different chat right now? Actually, it looks the same at 60 FPS and 250 FPS at 60 hertz. Okay, that's interesting. I didn't know that. It might be obvious, but I just didn't know that. Okay, so do you guys think I should try AKs or should I just play a couple more minutes with this and switch? I don't think I could try AK on this server. I have to switch server. I'm gonna switch server really quick and just try like a normal DM. The only thing I've heard about 60 FPS is apparently servers and maps load faster on 60 FPS. Try launching your own map one time on land. Apparently when you have lower FPS, the map Map opens faster the server. I find that weird, but it's true. I've done it before. Okay, so I could still like it's death match. I would, I'd be curious. I should try matchmaking on maybe another video one time. We'll try this on matchmaking. I still know this hurts my eyes. Okay, and then in a second, I'm gonna go back to uncapped FPS. I'll, I'll go 60 versus 144, and then I'll go to 240. All right, okay, so let's do uncapped. Just a little bit better. 60 hertz still blows. Like it just, like I can still feel decent control on 60 FPS, but oh man, like it's such a different game of like being able to like transfer, like tap, 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 be precise. And like, so if you're out there and you're playing on like a shitty setup, I feel for you. Do you feel the same playing at 60 FPS and 200 FPS on 60 hertz? No, I definitely don't. This feels a little bit better. 60 FPS, like watch, when I do like these big moves, it feels like it's catching up to my hand. When I do these big moves, it feels like it's closer. It feels like it's much closer. It's not fully there, but it's there. It just looks choppy. Like my eyes, watching this, my eyes hurt a little bit trying to play right now on this. All right, so should we go to 144 now, guys? 
So 144, immediately looking at my monitor, it's a breath of fresh air, right? Um, I can, we, I've played tournaments for a lot of my pro career on 144. I've played, the lowest I started in 1.6 was I played 75 hertz at tournaments. Because when they first came out with LCDs, they were 75 hertz refresh rate. That was a noticeable struggle because when online, a lot of us in 1.6 use 120 hertz or 100 hertz CRTs, the big box ones. So those were awesome. When, I, when 120 came out, it was super smooth. When 144 came out, it was super smooth for the time. And then when 240 came out, it was just a little bit smoother. But 144 right now, what I'm about to play on is gonna feel just fine. It's gonna feel great. 240 is just a hair, a little bit smoother. Oh, I switched my scene. All right, so this is 144 at uncapped FPS first. Or should I do 60? All right, 144 at 60 FPS first. Feels almost the same as 60 FPS on the other, just a little bit more mouse control. A little bit more mouse control with 60 FPS and 144. Still shitty to look at with 60 FPS though. Very just a little bit more mouse control. So that's that's what a good point of. It's good to get a new monitor first at 144 if you have a shitty graphics card. But with CS:GO guys, CS:GO is CPU heavy. So the first upgrade you're gonna want to make aside from a monitor is gonna be a processor. And then you want to make sure you have a good motherboard to support that. You don't want to bottleneck your system. I run. I mean, essentially you want to basically. You don't need to build a whole new computer if you're listening to this right now. But you want a decent motherboard and a decent processor and then you can get like a slightly worse video card and RAM. Alright, um... Okay, so now uncapped FPS. For the CPU right now, I'm playing on an i9 9900K. It's not overclocked though right now. I should probably overclock it. So this is just a world of difference, right? From looking at the monitor, not only does it feel smoother, by looking smoother, my eyes are able to follow what I want to do easier, right? No, it's a fake. So this feels smoother, and I have a feeling though, I don't know if it's because there's so many people in deathmatch, I should play in less DM people server because this has, I don't make it like higher FPS than this in a DM, but definitely it's just noticeably different with 144. So I can still play fine with it. I could play a tournament right now with 144 and be fine. But obviously, I'm, pre I'm preferring 240 still. Rampage. What's the rule of spraying, guys? Close close range, you can start up here with your crosshair. Mid range to long range, you start right here with your crosshair. And deep long range, you start at the waist with your crosshair, where you can't see below the camera. Start at the crotch. See how I started high right there? Medium range, I'm gonna start a little lower than high. And when those gaps that are a little bit different distances, you adjust it. All right, anyways, back to the test. So now do we go 240, guys, or what? All right, back to 240. All right, so guys, by the way, I am playing on a BenQ, 24 and a half inch monitor, 240 hertz capability. Okay, so try it at 60 FPS with 240. Feels all, pretty much the same as 144 did. Slightly better than 60 hertz at 60 FPS. FPS really does just limit the feeling overall. Just gets so choppy in those close range fights when I really have to snap and correct. See, long range, it's kind of easier because you have less crosshair movement, right? Long range, it's more about being steady and keeping your movement tight. Dominating. Three, two, one, zero. I can't even get the fucking countdown kill with 60 FPS. So 60 FPS, no matter what. <laughs> so I guess you might want to say after we concluded this that the first thing you want before you get a monitor that's 240, as long as you're at 144, you probably want to upgrade your CPU before going to 240, right? 144 will do you just fine. You're going to want to make sure if you're playing at under 100 FPS, you're going to want to get a CPU before you get a 240 hertz monitor. Okay, we'll uncap it in a sec and then I'll finish off the video. Finish off the video by that conclusion saying 240 hertz is great. This definitely feels smoother than 140. I can immediately notice it. It's like a, it's like when you used to go from like a 1080p YouTube video to a 4K, even though this is just what res am I even playing on? 12 960. Just that smooth, no, it's frame rate. It's like going from a 30 FPS video to 60 FPS video almost, right? Just feels smoother. 240 just has that little bit extra smoothness. It's just that, it's just that little bit of extra smoothness that is just so enjoyable to see. Um, is it much of a difference from 144? No. Is it noticeable? Yes. Dominating. Is it worth it? Not before a processor. And I think that's my final thoughts on the refresh rate versus FPS things. You know, I guess this will be, I'll probably upload this to YouTube so people will watch it so that people can kind of see my thoughts after the fact. And I guess that's it guys. 240 hertz, super smooth, but 144 is perfect. Make sure you get a better CPU in the meantime. Don't bottleneck it with a shitty motherboard. Make sure you have good RAM. 
And yeah. Sun capped is FPS is better than capping at a monitor's max hertz. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I used to cap at like 400. My thing was I capped at 400 FPS because my comp was beast. I didn't need more than 400 FPS in CS. But I've read some things lately. So I just, I'm uncapping that people are saying uncapped is better than capped because X, Y, and Z fucking GPU process that happens. I'm like, all right, whatever. Talking about shitty setups. I have one LS. They're a console command where my FPS will get higher. Are you asking if there's one command that your FPS will get higher? Just anything to dumb down uh, settings, and I don't know exactly what that'd be. You can't bottleneck a CPU with motherboard. If you have a shitty motherboard, though, right? Doesn't that make the whole thing worse? I've heard you can. People much smarter than me with PCs. Hey guys.